Hello everyone and welcome back to Prodigal Overland. My name's Brad. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we're back out at Windrock. This time, we're bringing with us two Gladiators, two Jeep Grand Cherokees, and two Ram TRXs, which if you're not too familiar about those, are packing about 700 horsepower and are just about as wide as a dually truck. So let's get started and see how they do out on the trails. So the vast majority of this video is going to be on Trail 26, which is a Jeep Badge of Honor trail. Um, we were able to get everybody through that trail, um, sometimes taking different lines and whatnot, sometimes with a little more room and a little less room. But this section here is actually just a little side playground area off of one of the main gravel routes. Um, so the guys wanted to kind of check this out. Here we have Daniel in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. He was the first one to be brave enough to follow me and, and see what it was all about. I really like this section, this little offshoot, because if you don't want to do it, it's easy to pull over. The trail's nice and wide up at the top. Uh, if you do want to do it, there's some off-camber situations, some situations where you can get comfortable, maybe lifting a tire, um, as you're going to see Daniel do here. Um, but it's relatively safe. Um, you know, it's it looks like a lot, but it's not too hard to get down there and, and try some different lines out. On this event, uh, we actually had mostly brand new people with us. So Daniel actually here in the Grand Cherokee had never been out off-road in his Jeep. So this was completely brand new to him. I always have a great time watching people learn and grow throughout the weekend. Often there's a big difference there between goes. the first day out with it. us and the second day. There we go. Good job, Daniel. Straight from there till you clear your back end. It's gonna it follows down to the passenger. So as you go down passenger, like now start turning passenger. So as you guys watch this one, make sure you leave a comment below on how you think these Ram TRXs are going to do and then how they did do by the end of this video. Straight, yeah, keep straight from there. Okay, your back end's cleared. You can go driver a little bit and get in the center groove here. Yep, and then you can kind of straighten out nice and slow. He's gonna go the left line up. Okay, a little bit passenger, just slightly. Good. A little more, slight bit more. There you go, good. I was just clearing your sidewall. And you're good on that angle. You did it. Too easy. Good job. Especially for the Grand Cherokees, like you don't want to ever put your vehicle in a situation where you're kind of off camber and there's a big drop here. It doesn't take. So here we are standing really at the top of the start way. of Trail 26. So if you're taking it, this, I guess from kind of the, the center section and working your way south, there's a large drop in as you can see here. And actually, when we rolled up to it this time. 
there was a whole mess of wranglers up at this section and kind of blocking the trail and we asked them what was going on and they had actually just done a recovery on a lifted wrangler who went over on their side taking a wrong line in the, actually i think it was either this section or the section right after it which you'll see is super off camber so we're just kind of going through kind of what to do so that people don't put themselves in situations where they can end up on their side that looks good it's gonna be tippy coming down slow You're there. Straighten out. Take it straight. Now you can go a little driver. Straight. Straighten out a little. There you go. Good job. Start coming, driver a little bit. Driver, driver. Oh my gosh. So it's tough to see from this angle because it's shot from above, but Rick is about three feet up on this wall, very much leading towards his opposite side. It's a wide truck, so he was okay, but kind of a nasty drop in here. Here it is from a different angle. You watch that guy up front, Brian, for a perspective on how high he is. Holy cow. He took it way too high. Oh <laughs> so just nice and slow. Let's come off of here. You're gonna start to level out. So slow about two feet forward. Yeah, you still. Watch now. That's worse. Worse? Yeah. These trucks are so long and wide. Even though Rick looks good, he's seen the front of his truck and he thinks he looks good, but the back end of his fender is going to swipe if he keeps on that line. Come forward slow and we'll see. If you clear your back end, it's going to be fine. So I, it's that rear foot hard driver. How's he look there on the... I think once I come into that ditch, it's going to whack this out. Do you think it's going to what? As soon as I drop that tire in, I think this is going to whack it in. Your first line would look good until you get backed up. Yeah. Do you want to do it again, back out, or? Yeah. Take it slow though. Nice and slow. And hard. Keep it hard all the way. You're long though too, so you're gonna be Does the back look okay? Yeah. Alright. Watch your head, man. <coughs> Let it roll. That's Going down! You're gonna be on your rail right there. You're on your rail. Down, slow. Woo! Nice. Yeah. 
So here's Daniel again coming down. The two Grand Cherokees were kind of uh, debating who would get to go first on this one, uh, but Daniel volunteered. It's such a weird feeling to be in a Grand Cherokee with this because there really isn't much articulation up front. So as soon as his front tire starts to go, it feels like your whole vehicle is going to like tip on its side. That's going to throw him in. So this is John. John's got a black, I think it's a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. He also was like pretty brand new to off-roading. Uh, so this is his first time out in this Grand Cherokee. Sam's he did have some armor, Sam some rails, is, uh, some cheap products, um, and cheap products lower front guard. Hey Brad. Um, but this is him tackling that obstacle. Okay, slow, slow, slow. You're there. So hard driver. You're okay. It's coming. So as hard as you can, driver. Oh, no. And then it's just now it's gonna happen. Oh, so just hold driver, don't hit the brake at this point, okay? Oh, no. Driver, let it come. There it Turn is. Turn it. Rail come in. There you go. Perfect. That's just your hit. Nice job. Driver, he's not turning driver, he's not turning driver. So I said we had two Ram TRXs, this is Brian. Brian's TRX is a little bit different than the black one with Rick. Rick I think had 37 inch tires. Brian's TRX is completely stock, so he's running on 35 inch tires. Is it back, you guys can watch the back tender? Yeah. We're gonna start level, here it comes, here's the level now. You're all the way driver? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Awesome. Keep drive. Don't. You just keep pointing that way. You're nice and slow. Okay, now you're going to start coming down the step. Okay? Hard as you can driver and just, like I said, it's going to, it's going to, there's the rail. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. You're almost there. Almost there. There it is. You're down. Oh, straight this it's way. It's not. It's just a step. Come yeah. straight from there. That's to clear your step. A little bit more. Okay, now you come back this way. Slow on your back end. Here's your back end coming down. Coming down. Awesome. Nice. Then we've got Anthony. Anthony's been out with us several times. He's obviously got a Jeep Gladiator there. He's running 35 inch tires with the Come stock suspension at this point. So he's just a little bit lower than our gray Gladiator. All right, now start turning. Real slow about to come down on driver. Your tail's going the right way. You're there. Good. Just about there. You got two inches. Did you get? It's his rock rail. Just straight. Straight so you don't get that fender. Does he clear his fender? Is his fender clear there? Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
All right, you can start passing, I mean, driver. Little down. It was, I think it was all rail. So here's that second obstacle where I think the Wrangler went over. Um, the line I prefer here is just to kind of attack straight down the hill. When you're going straight down the hill, you don't have to worry about rolling on your side. It's when you try these kind of sideways maneuvers that often you'll end up tipping. Hold up one sec. Go ahead. Take it slow. About to drop. Nice and slow. There you are. And hold it straight before you try to turn. All right, you're on your first shelf, about to come down the second, take it slow. Nice and slow, there you are. Good job. So the guys in the TRX didn't want to come straight down the way we did. You know, often there's not just one line that will work here. Rick decides to come across the top. He was able to do this line specifically because it was so dry. If this was really muddy and wet, like it was the last time we were here, even that line I would have probably been more against with the, the odds of him kind of sliding downhill. That's good. Yeah, now square out. Take it straight on. There you go. Brad, give yourself space. Tires are good, just keep coming. A little bit this way. Yep. Nice and slow, slow. You're going to start coming down. Okay, this way. And you're going to ride that down that way. Too much. Come on. Slow, it's coming down. A little passenger. A little bit driver or passenger. Passenger. Yeah. Good. Good, here it comes. Coming down, nice and slow. Perfect. Nice and slow. Watch your down. Slow. 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 <laughs> slow. Nice and easy. Are you still in Fortnite? <laughs> You got it. Keep that angle. Good job. Nice work, Daniel. Sam off the trail. Straight from there, and then we'll get you lined Describe up. Describe one that you look dirty. Well, thank you for getting one, bud. Sorry. You want him to turn? Yeah. That's a good line. Come on, slow though. That's a good line, but nice and slow as you come down. So 
little bit broader, yes? That line you're on, it's fine. You're gonna roll down a nice little slope. You can slope. also come across. So, you're about to do your little drop. So as you come down, you're gradually turning passenger. So you're good. This right there, it's gonna come on your passenger first. Here it comes, nice, perfect, nice, very nice. And now follow it around passenger. You're down. Just take it slow for your back. Slow for your back. Slow, right here. Yep. Coming down. Good. You're good. Keep holding it. Good job. Nice work, John. Nice work. Brian's here doing the same um, kind of bypass that Rick did and the other T-Rex. Brian doesn't actually have rock rails, so you can hear his step scrape. Getting those steps off is probably one of the first things he's going to want to do in the future. They didn't want to try it this way, so he said, all right, well, so they do about a 10-point turn. The problem with that one is it's smoke, so you're going to have the wheel base on the side of it. So this is just going down. Right. Should have seen them coming around that first turn. Oh really? That was <laughs> did it. Nice. Good job. There it is. Well, not too much. Just remember your back end's about to yeah, get a lot of push. Back there, yeah, drop your first yeah. small drop here. Yeah. That's your first. Okay. Now you're going down the slope. He didn't, he didn't, buddy. You did it. Nice. To the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man. Down to the river, down to the river. Stop a sec, come a little bit driver because you, you just shifted. A little driver, right there. A little bit more, right there. You're gonna come down on the passenger about six inches. There it is, yep. And just hold that line, nice and slow, just real slow. And now you can start easing driver. Yep, just, yep, that's, that's plenty. 
slow, slow. Remember, your back's got to come where your front was. And then I would hug towards those bushes, the rhododendron, and go, try to go around or over this big one in the center. And then back, yep, back towards uh, passenger. Another drop right here. Another drop right here. <laughs> slow, slow, slow. There's going to be another drop in about a foot and a half. Real slow, about to go down on your passenger. Good. There you are. You're going to want to go driver, pretty hard driver. And just take it slow. That bottom's got to come down now. It's going down. Oh. You're good. You just hit your plate. All You're right. Good. Now, hold on. Let me get to the front. I would come a little bit uh, passenger now. Oh, thank you. Right there. Yep, slow. Yep. Good. Now back driver a little bit. Yep, that's too much. Right there. Yep. Slow. And a little bit passenger. Yep, here comes. We'll slide. Yeah, perfect. And as you come down, you're gonna just a little bit driver. You're good. Yep. Slow, slow, slow. You're down. Yep. Just follow towards the bushes. Yeah, there you go. Just a wave. Hello. Coming down. That was hard. So one of the, the things that I think is toughest for people when they first start out and they're trying kind of these rock crawling obstacles is either smooth acceleration of their vehicle or smooth deceleration. So the ability to smoothly kind of glide down obstacles or smoothly apply throttle to get up them can be tough when you're first starting out. It's okay. A passenger for me. Yep. Hold that line for me, passenger. Coming down in the rear. You're gonna take off. Looks good, Anthony. You can keep coming. Come passenger as you come down. Yep, passenger, more passenger. Right there. Yep, nice and slow. You're going to start evening it out. Yeah. 
There you go. Nice and slow. You got to step coming down, passenger. Just gonna a bunch of little steps. That's fine. You're still good. And the front driver's gonna level out here. Right there it is. Yep. Just nice and slow. All right, good job. Grand Cherokees, as you come over this next little section here, you're gonna wanna stay passenger. passenger a little bit. There you go. Coming down. Good job. Slow. Tires passenger just a little bit. Good. Follow that line a minute. You're good. Now you can start turning slow. There you go. Right there, too much. Stop, good. Nice and slow. Good, good, just slow down the hill. Back's about to come down. Real slow. Here comes the back. Good job. Nicely done. Slow. There you go. Did you want to lead him? I'm sorry. I'll let you. Okay. That's why he was waiting. Okay. No, if you ever want to, let us know. We'll let you, you guys try it out. You're good. You have a couple more inches before you start to come down. Little tripod here, but you'll be all right. Starting to come down now. Nice and slow. Keep them passenger though a little bit. There, yep, keep them right there. Good. Now you can start a slow turn, but just, yep, that's plenty. Just try to ride that for a minute. About to come down. There you go. Good. Nice and slow. Let me get out of your way here. There you go. And just ride it slow so that backside can come down. Good. Good, about halfway there. Nice. Okay, back driver about to come down. Excellent, nice job. So these Ram guys were kind of fun to watch. So you don't know that you can really tell here when they were going up obstacles, a lot of time they weren't even hitting the gas. They were just modulating their brake. Um, 700 horsepower and the gearing they had was enough just to kind of idle up obstacles. And obviously the biggest struggle they had was how long and how wide these guys were. A lot of the trails out at Windrock are pretty wide. Right, Rick had yeah, asked before he even signed up for this event, hey, am I gonna be too wide to come out here? So we get out there enough to really pay attention to what trails would work and which wouldn't. Uh, we didn't do Panther Rock. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Windrock. Panther Rock, super, super narrow, going through trees. So we didn't even bother with stuff like that. But on the whole, these guys were just a lot of fun to have out there and, and kind of watch them 
tackle the trails. You're going to see a section of trail later in this video towards the very end of 26 when we brought them through a super narrow section. Eric, I honestly okay. wasn't sure whether or not they would fit. There's a bit of a dip there. Sorry. Good job. Thanks. A little more passenger, just slightly. There you go. Now follow that line. And then you can do a slow, now you can do a slow driver. Just as you come down. You're about to drop. Perfect. Backside's coming up and down. So here we are in the southwesternmost section of this trail. Like I said, there's there's a wall on one side and then there's a rock sticking out on the other side that we had to squeeze these guys through. You're clear, you're clear if you just Keep straight there. Yeah, go a little passenger, I mean a little driver, just slightly driver. He's going to hit his, there we go, you just skimmed it. Perfect. You're good, just nice and steady there, Daniel. Do you want to tuck your mirrors in? Job.
Stop. I think you'll be okay real slow to see if you cleared. Just nice and easy. I think you're gonna be all right. Come a smidge driver, smidge driver, right there. That's too much. Right there, perfect. Nice and slow. gonna come down and off of there. Yep, it's good. You're gonna come down right here. It's just a ramp. There you go. So there you guys go. That is Trail 26 out at Windrock Park. Trail 26 is a Jeep Badge of Honor trail. Let us know how you think these guys in the Ram TRXs did, how the Grand Cherokees did. Leave a comment below. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around for next week when we tra tackle Trail 11 out at Windrock and definitely hit a few unexpected obstacles. There you go. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're brand new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and we will see you guys again real soon.